<laughs> um, yo, so we we we, we could talk. We about to get into. We about to get into some. You know what I mean? Some 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 uh some real stuff. All right. Last week we talked about. Last week we talked about. Uh, uh um uh Ron Ron DeSantis. Um, yes. And we talked about him. What, what, what is it? The the uh, the the African American studies. Yes. The African American the African American studies, and everybody was going crazy about him being a racist and stuff like that. Um. And he he uh and and, and I, I myself I knew he had a reasoning. And uh, he had a reason in, in in doing this, you know. What I mean, he had a reason in doing this, and he uh, and last week you said that he needed to come out and and say why, which I knew he would come out and say why. He usually do that all like all the time. So he um, I, before you play the clip, before you play the clip, I want you to check read read that article though. We read, read the article, the article real quick. Okay, uh, let's see. This is on uh, the F the, the FLstandard.com. Uh exclusive of uh, rejected African American studies course in Florida features CRT intersectionality and queer theory. Uh national outrage ensued after the state rejected an AP African American studies course, but a copy of the syllabus obtained by the Florida Standard shows the course sought to teach progressive doctrines such as intersectionality and critical race theory. Um, Governor Ron DeSantis in the Florida Department of Education once again made national headlines on Wednesday after the state rejected an advanced placement African-American studies course. Uh, the Florida Standard obtained a copy of the course syllabus and reviewed, reviewed the proposed material. Topics include Black queer studies and post-racial racism and colorblindness. Um, uh, Let's see. The letter uh, the, on January twelfth, the FDOE Office of Articulation sent a letter notifying the college board that the state was rejecting its request for state approval uh, for the course. Now it says critical race theory section four of the syllabus introduces the topic um, post racial racism and colorblindness and features text from Eduardo Bonilla Silva, who employs critical race theory in his writing. Um, and Eduardo uh, Silva's book, Racism Without Races, describes how whites talk, think, and account for the existence of racial inequality and makes clear that colorblind racism is as insidious now as ever. Um, the section four also includes um, Black queer studies. A description states this topic in, uh, explores the concept of queer color critique grounded in black feminism and intersectionality uh, as a black study lens that shifts uh, sexuality studies towards racial analysis. So uh, let me go and um, play um, what Ron DeSantis said that we can go ahead, uh, we gonna head to break and then we'll come back and uh, discuss it. Let's go ahead and play what he says right now. Florida, our education standards not only don't prevent, but they require teaching black history, all the important things that's part of our core curriculum. This was a separate course on top of that for advanced placement credit. And the issue is we have guidelines and standards in Florida. Uh, we want education, not indoctrination. If you fall on the side of indoctrination, we're going to decline. If it's education, then we will do this course. So when I heard it didn't meet the standards, I figured, yeah, they may be doing security. It's way more than that. This course on black history, what are one of, what's one of the lessons about? Queer theory. Now, who would say that an important part of black history is queer theory? That is somebody pushing an agenda on our kids. And so when you look to see they have stuff about intersectionality, abolishing prisons, that's a political agenda. And so we're on, that's the wrong side of the line for Florida standards. We believe in teaching kids uh, facts and how to think, but we don't believe they should have an agenda imposed on them. When you try to use black history to shoehorn in queer theory, uh, you are clearly trying to use that uh, for political. Yo, 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 we back again on KSM 98.9 every Monday morning from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. So we just heard uh, Governor Ronnie Santos of Florida 
um, say the reason and why. What you, what, what you, I want you to start off. What you, what you think about that? Um, I think, um, I think that what he said was on point. Um, I mean, I always bring this up when when I when I when I, when I talk about it because even as a kid, when I would go into or well, a teenager, because I don't think they had Barnes and Nobles uh, in our area when I was a kid, but when I was a teenager. Uh, shout out to shout out to that Borders that was out, all there, out there near the beach too, man. We used to go to that job. They used to be like a uh, what they, Borders. They, it? Borders got shut down. Borders got shut down before we even went to college. I think didn't. Uh, uh, nah, it, it might have been like during college. During college, I remember Amazon. A- 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 Amazon came out and, and started shutting everything. Down. That's what Bo- I think. Borders was probably the first thing to go. Yeah, yeah, no, no, Borders was the first thing. If anybody remember Borders, Borders was like Barnes & Noble on steroids. It was like everything, you know what I'm saying? Super big store. But anyway. Then they made uh, made, uh, Best Buy Smaller. Best Buy Smaller. And then the the Circuit Cities got ran out. Circuit Cities got shut Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a lot of joint that went on when Amazon came. They shut the... They was like Suge Knight. They shut everything down. (laughs) Oh, Radio Shacks and everything, man. Um, Yep. But yeah, so um, so yeah, so uh, hold on one second. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I agree with everything he said. I agree with everything he said. Uh, but we have to talk about we have to talk about intersect. Well, well let me get back to my story about Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble. Every time I would go in Barnes and Noble, they would have uh the the the, the black section next to the homosexual section. You know what I'm saying? And I was wondering, it, it, it didn't, I started to realize just like, you know what I'm saying, through through life that that homosexuality is, is always working to be placed right next to the black American experience. So it's almost like they try to make the black, the black American experience the same as gay or gay the same as the black American experience. So it almost gets to a point where whereas Watch uh, it now. Uh, but no, no, no. I'm just saying it, it gets to a point where you 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 can't uh be if you're against one of the agendas, then you gotta be against the other's agenda. Or 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 you should be you should understand you should understand my oppression because of your oppression. You know what I'm saying? It, it, these little things right. that you know what I'm saying that 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 lends itself to to uh, you know what I'm saying like it, it just so, so, it, I mean, so, so, so what do you think of his call? I think his call is great because I think it's unfair. Now look, now look, if if you in college, even though this is an AP course, which means this is high school kids taking college courses, but <laughs> if you if, if you want to take a college course on queer studies, by all means, I ain't, I ain't got no problem with that. Do it. Right. But to have it in black studies, it makes it seem like that we are somehow uh, um, the beginning and the culprits of any type of like queer or gay type of ideas or ideology. Well, well, yeah, well, when it, when it, when you when they was doing that junk in Greece and, and the, you know what I mean, the Europeans was doing that junk, you know what I mean? It should be if anything it should be a white studies. If, if, if yeah, but you, know you, you, I mean? you European you, studies. You <laughs> you you're, you're not going to find like um like uh uh yeah, I'm taking a I'm taking a a a, a sweet a, a, a Sweden history 101. And they're going to talk about homosexuality in Sweden, like they're not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. They get, they get, no, they give it. They get that. They get that type of stuff to us because they know the this, this sum of that is zero. But go ahead. Right. So, and then, and then, then when he talked, when he talked about intersectionality, a lot of people don't know what that is. But I'm going to tell everybody what intersectionality is. Intersectionality is when you have a cause. I have a cause. They both cross at a certain point. And so 
we're now now we're going to be on the same side of a fight because there is a common crossing point that we both have a cause for. So so it will be like this. You have a lesbian, right? Right. And then you have black people. Okay. Right. Then if you're black and you're lesbian, right? Yep. Okay, then there's an intersection where that crosses. So now, so now it makes it seem like if you're black and you're lesbian, you have to be on on a certain side. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like like two ideas or two or two two ideas or two thoughts that are different that has the same a uh, 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 one thing that brings them in common. Now they take on all of their all all of the the um. Uh, they take on all of the uh, ideas of one another's, and and they forge ahead at, on the same team. Now, hold on, what, 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 what? Okay, go ahead. Let me just finish. Let me just finish up. Let me finish up. So it would be like you a liberal and you got black people, right? And it's like and it's like, uh, uh, um, how can I put it? Like uh. We don't agree. Black people naturally don't agree with all liberal, uh, uh, uh law, all liberal, uh, stances. Right. 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 But let's just say we both don't like Donald Trump. Okay. So now I'm going to agree with everything liberals have to say because we all commonly don't like Donald Trump. That's intersectionality. But what ends up happening with black with what with, with, with happening with black people? Is that we end up agreeing and, and, and locking into this intersectionality and fighting for things that we don't necessarily agree with because we also because we agree on one thing, we we start fighting for all ten things that other people agree with, but those other people don't never fight for none of the other stuff that black people are fighting for. Mm. And when laws get passed down, it ain't for black people. See the, the see see, it's easy to see. Black people are the only people in this country. It's very easy to make a logical case for the case for civil rights for black people in this country is the most logical case in the world. So what people do, and this goes for LGBT, this goes for uh, 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 immigrants, this goes for BIPOC people of color or whatever. What they do is they use the talking points and the pain and the history of black Americans in this country and they attach themselves to it. But then when the laws are written, they, they sub the word black out and they put in the word minority or they put in the word BIPOC or they put in the uh, word disenfranchised neighborhoods. And that opens this thing up to all different minority groups in this country, you know what I'm saying? So, so it would be, it would be like, it would be like, oh, oh, uh, uh, um, uh, slavery. Okay. Slavery is a black American thing. Right. Okay. So, oh, that's, that's, so because of slavery, we're gonna, we're gonna, um, uh, rebuild the wealth, the wealth gap for black people. Okay. Hey, everybody, everybody claps. Okay. Then when the law is written, it says we're going to rebuild the, the rebuild the wealth wealth gap um, for minorities. See, they sub the word blackout. They get the, the the pain is to get you involved, is to get you on the right side. But then when the actual thing is written, they sub that blackout. Bro, I always said it, man. We're gonna buy we're gonna buy pack ourselves out of any out, out of any and every law. <laughs> no, no, not straight up. You know, you know what I mean. Uh, uh, um, um, let me ask you something. Would you okay? Okay. If uh if you saw Okay, see, oh, let, let me tell you my gripe first. Okay. This is my gripe. Okay. They got ooh, 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 what they got the feminist, they got what? Feminist movement. Oh, they got the feminist movement inside the black studies. They got um queer theory 
this is my thing. That's divisive tactics. My thing is, why don't why don't we have a black family agenda, a black family theory, a black family uh uh uh, 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 uh protect black women or you know what I mean or black masculine black masculine men theory. You know what I mean? Why don't we have see why don't we have those things? Why don't we have a uh, a uh, 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 do a uh, 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 do it yourself agenda or theory or whatever class like see that's my only problem that i got see they like to throw they like to they like to they like to not have us think about these other things but then have queer theory in it it's like yo it, it, let me ask you something if they was to have black masculinity class black family class how to protect black women class and it had queer theory in there would you go for it then and, and no I, like i told a lady on twitter i said once i spit in your drink you got throw the you got to put the rest of it out mm. you know what i'm uh, saying I, I'm, not, I'm not i'm not i'm not sure i don't know what the correlation is you might want to you might no wanna... no no let me tell you, you something. Want to clear that one up. Look, you leave your cup on the table in a in a lint fly in your in your in, in your cup. You don't drink it. You pour that junk out and go get and, and go get something else. See what? See see see. Once you understand that there's an agenda behind anything that's in there, right. then you have to search with a fine tooth comb for any agenda lingering in there. You know, the distrust for the whole course. Is, is 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 what's going on? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and like Desante says, this is this is just him rejecting this course. He said is he said it's required to learn bl black history, but right. it's just this course. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing, yo. We that's, and the thing is that, and we're we're we are black males, and we are speaking from this black male perspective. There is an agenda to eliminate black males from the family. The nuclear family with, with black man, black woman, and child is under attack. And the thing is, is that is that once you start bringing in this information and targeting this information to our kids, that will allow them. It's like every everything wants to push the black man out of the out of the household. If the black man's out of the household, then that's a that's a lack of protection for the black women and child. You know what I'm saying? Think of all the different things: mass incarceration, eliminate black black. You get on Section Eight, your black man came in the household. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And now, and I I think a lot of these things where it, where it's queer theory and feminism, all of, I think a lot of these ideas are to push the black man out of the family. And we are against that. We want black men to be in a family, to be leaders in the community, to be leaders in their household, and to be able to protect and make decisions. You know what I'm saying? For their families and for their households. You know what I'm saying? And that's what black people need to get back to. You know what I mean? So that, that that's the side I'm on. You know what I mean? Um, and I I applaud Governor DeSantis for his decision on uh, on rejecting this course. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Look, man. Yeah, I, 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 I agree. I agree the same thing. I, I, I agree with it too, man. It, it's like, it's like. See, that's how you know how. See, that's how you know how people really feel when you see what's in black courses, and you see what's in white courses, or you see what they're teaching in black schools, what they're implementing in black schools, and what they're implementing in white schools. Or if you see what they mostly got in black television shows, and you see what they mostly got in man, look, man, I don't know where no black superheroes at. I mean, I look, look, I, I scan through Netflix, I scan, I scan through all of these. I can't see, I can't find a black masculine man with a lead role to save my life unless it's Kevin Hart. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no, and, 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 and I was looking at uh Michael Jamal Warner was on uh the breakfast. Oh, okay. 
Hey, yeah, yeah, he's on the cues, but that, but he was on the black uh, Breakfast Club, and he was like, th- there was an intent to move away from the nuclear family after the Cosby Show. He said, yeah. "You start seeing Roseanne. Get, ro- you know what I'm saying? You you start you start to see the dysfunctional families started to pop up more, and then it started even deteriorating from there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it was almost it was almost like they they couldn't wait to get." the Cosby show out of the way so they could start with the deterioration of, you know what I'm saying? The right. Deterioration of, 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 of families on TV. But, uh, but, but what he, another thing that he said that we have to be intent, our intent have to be pure about the things we put out. You know what I'm saying? Right. Bill Cosby yeah. was intent. His intent was having young black people go to HBCUs and go to college when he created a different world. His intent was to show people how how to how to uh, how important it is to have a nuclear family in the in the in the, in the uh, uh, you know what I'm saying the love and respect and that him uh, Cliff and Claire have for each other and how they love their kids and was vital in their kids' life and had great jobs. He wanted to show that on TV to help black people to see something you know what I'm saying uh, uh, like that on TV. So our intent and, and, and he said that is is. But because Cosby Show was was clean like it was, it wasn't because the people wasn't writing the BS. Bill Cosby had to stop. It would tell him we're not doing this on the show. You know what I'm saying? So even right. as right. even as we talk about African American studies and and the Santes rejecting the course, you know what I'm saying? We also have to be upstanding men in society to be examples for what these young kids need to see and what they want to be when they grow up. You know what I'm saying? It starts with us, though. Yeah, yeah. No, no, absolutely. Absolutely. I I, I agree with that, man. We we just got to, man, it, it's, it's, it's it's a lot. It's a lot of different agendas out there, man. It, it's, so, it's so crazy when people don't see these things. I, it's, like, this is, like, th- this is the thing I'm so confused about. It's like white people are acute accused of every single last thing in the world by black people except for pushing this this other type of agenda can't nobody see that they can't see it they be like oh yeah systematic racism they uh they the banks and uh the railroads and the train tracks and, and they can't they won't let us get through society and da 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 and do all this and, and do all that Oh yo, they trying to feminize the black man. Uh nah, they, they ain't doing they ain't doing that. I, I haven't I haven't seen that. They trying to make uh, uh every black dude uh gay on TV. Oh, you know what? I I, I don't know no, I don't know nothing about that. Nah, cause we got Martin, we got Kevin Hart. You remember Kevin Hart came out with a Kara seven ninety eight point nine. If you want to watch full interviews, make sure you head over to the fan base app and subscribe to the Let's Argue Morning Show.